G'day, Jared from Tire Review here, and I'm with Grant today. And Grant's been spending the last six months or so yeah, six doing, months. doing 10,000 Ks in the, on the uh, Michelin Pilot Sport 4s in his Sir Renault Megane. Renault Megane 265 Cup car. So it's a um, yeah, RS Sport car out of, uh, out of Renault. Yeah, right. So how many kilowasps has it got? Uh, 200. 200, so, so. All through the front wheels. So it can be a bit of a handful, but um, yeah. Awesome car to drive. Yeah, yeah. Great road handling. And you've got a tradition of having fairly fast little cars, haven't you? Uh, I've had a range of them. Yeah, Subaru, uh, WRXs, Porsche, uh, some Porsches. Um, yeah, a few different things. That's not bad. Yeah. That's not bad at all. So. Uh, in terms of the tyre on this car, how do, how do you feel like they've performed for your day-to-day -day living? Um, as soon as I put them on, it was really a, um, straight away, it was a uh, totally different car to drive. The, the old tyres that I had on it really had no confidence in the, in the drive, very little, uh, very little feedback. As soon as I put these on, um, feedback through the steering wheel is great grip levels and confidence with that has been awesome um, just been a pleasure to drive and total total change to the to the way the car car actually runs yeah so for taking them for a joyride through the hills ah oh, awesome yeah you, it's a car that you can really push through the through the corners yep. um, and have a lot of confidence you know you, you turn into a corner grip levels straight away are, are, are high um, yeah changing road conditions through the corner Tires just don't don't mm. don't even think about giving up. Um, yeah, yeah. They just hold on and hold on. So cool. um, then the feel feedback through the steering wheel through those corners is just just amazing. Yep. So what's the understeer characteristics of this car usually? Um, look, pretty pretty neutral. Oh, I really? found. Yeah, that's good. So um, certainly with these tires on, it's been pretty pretty neutral. The old tires, yeah, it was quite variable. I yeah, must yeah. Say, I must say. Yeah. Had the tires send some the old tires send some wear, or were they sort of? Uh, they were actually, I was going to say probably fifty percent of the way through their life, really? and uh, they were just a yeah they yeah. were they were horrible. Then yeah, yeah. um, they were average in the, in the dry, in the wet, diabolical. Mm. Couldn't wait. Them. Really? Yep. Oh, absolutely. How long? Like, do you, you've done about ten thousand k's now. Have you sort of had a look to see how much longer do you reckon you've got on these tyres? Oh, look, I'd I'd say I'll get a good thirty five thousand k out of these at this point in time. Yeah. That's pretty amazing for that grip level yeah. in this sort of car. Oh yeah. yeah. And I look, I drive this every day to work. It's um, about a seventy kilometre round trip on open roads, mm. uh, windy open roads. So yeah. Yeah, if I can do the speed limit, I'm doing the speed limit. It's daily fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. It's daily fun. So, so yeah. would you, who would you recommend this tyre for? The Michelin Pilot Sport for? Uh, look, I would, in all honesty, general drivers. Um, it's a it's a great tyre for from that perspective. Um, but if you had someone that wanted to um, have a bit more fun uh, with a with a car that like this that um, you can actually uh, have a bit of fun in um, it's, it's a tyre that really suits that as well um, I haven't actually had a go on, on the track with this yet but uh, with these tyres but just judging what it's like in the on the dry roads it's um, yeah I'd, I'd say anyone that wants to yeah is a a more uh, adventurous driver mm. if you want to say it that way yep. uh, these tyres really suit cool. yeah. well there's a track day coming up on the 21st here in uh, at Baskerville so we might see you out there. That sounds like a good plan. So Grant, you know, they're awesome, they corner well, they grip to the road well. What are the downsides of these tyres? I've probably really only noticed two. Um, first one would be really the, the road noise, certainly on the um, you know, course chip sealed roads, the, the noise levels are probably a little higher than I might have anticipated. In comparison to these previous tyres that you love oh, so much? Just in comparison to other, others that I've had, yep. you know, it's just yep. a bit noisier. Look, it could be partly the, the design of this particular car being a, being a two-door, um, but yeah, mm. I'm, I, I think they are just a bit noisier than yep. I might have expected. And the second thing I've noticed is if the tyre pressures do get a little bit low, um, it 
the, the car will tend to track a little bit yeah. um, on on differing road surfaces or joins in road surfaces, but you know, put the tyre pressures up a PSI and that, that sort of disappears. So. so it's down to a PSI difference, really? Yeah, uh, that's what I've found so far, yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 So do you feel like those trade-offs are worth keeping the tyre for? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's... Um, I Look, I could... If I was going to buy another set of tyres, yes, this would be another set of tyres I'd put on this car, yeah, consider, yeah. Them, consider them without a doubt. Awesome. Well, thanks very much for your review. No, thank you very much for having me. Cheers. Appreciate it. Thanks, all. Bye.